Thank you. Thank you very much. Chancellor Cole, Governing Mayor Deepkin, ladies and gentlemen, 24 years ago, President John F. Kennedy visited Berlin. And speaking to the people of this city and the world at the City Hall, well, since then, two other presidents have come, each in his turn to Berlin. And today, I myself make my second visit to your city. In West Germany and here in Berlin, there took place an economic miracle. The Wirtschaftswandir. Adenauer, Erhardt, Reuter, and other leaders understood the practical importance of liberty, that just as truth can flourish only when the journalist is given freedom of speech, so prosperity can come about only when the farmer and businessmen enjoy economic freedom. The German leaders, the German leaders reduced tariffs, expanded free trade, lowered taxes. From 1950 to 1960 alone, the standard of living in West Germany and Berlin doubled. Where four decades ago there was rubble, Today in West Berlin, there is the greatest industrial output of any city in Germany. Busy office blocks, fine homes and apartments, proud avenues and the spreading lawns of parkland. Where a city's culture seemed to have been destroyed, today there are two great universities, orchestras and an opera, countless theaters and museums. Where there was want, today there's abundance, food, clothing, automobiles, the wonderful goods of the Kudam. <laughs> from devastation, from utter ruin, you Berliners have in freedom rebuilt a city that once again ranks as one of the greatest on earth. And the Soviets may have had other plans. But my friends, there were a few things the Soviets didn't count on. Berliner Herz, Berliner Humor, Ja und Berliner Schnauzer. In the 1950s, in the 1950s, Khrushchev predicted, we will bury you. But in the West today, we see a free world that has achieved a level of prosperity and well-being unprecedented in all human history. In the communist world, we see failure, technological backwardness, declining standards of health, even one And now, now the Soviets themselves may in a limited way be coming to understand the importance of freedom. We hear much from Moscow about a new policy of reform and openness. Some political prisoners have been released. Certain foreign news broadcasts are no longer being jammed. Some economic enterprises have been permitted to operate with greater freedom from state control. Are these the beginnings of profound changes in the Soviet state, or are they token gestures intended to raise false hopes in the West or to strengthen the Soviet system without changing it? We welcome change and openness, for we believe that freedom and security go together, that the advance of human liberty the advance of human liberty can only strengthen the cause of world peace. There is one sign the Soviets can make that would be unmistakable, that would advance dramatically the cause of freedom and peace. General Secretary Gorbachev, if you seek peace, if you seek prosperity for the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe, if you seek liberalization, Come here to this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. <laughs> Mr. Go 
Gorbachev. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall.